back with another one. Upper Ministry Story Time. Upper Room Ministry Story Time. And it says to um the title is Imitators. Imitator Imitators. And it's asking us to read First Corinthians um chapter ten verses twenty three and chapter eleven verse one. The scripture to the story is Ephesians chapter five verses one and two. And it reads be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us a fragrant fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. And we know the word of God is blessed. The story goes, a few weeks ago, my daughter returned to work after the birth of her baby and I started my new job caring for my grandson. It's only one day a week and leaves me physically exhausted, but I'm loving it. My grandson is not yet verbal or mobile, but he is alert and always learning. He watches, listens, and imitates. He smiles when I smile, and he tries to clap when I clap. Children learn so much by imitation. Even as adults, we can easily begin speaking, behaving, and thinking like people we associate associate with the most. Spending time with people who speak and act in encouraging and edifying ways will help us to speak and act in similar ways. Amen to that. Likewise, if we want to imitate Christ in our speech, actions, and attitudes, we need to spend time with him. We can do this by learning about his life through the Gospels, by sitting quietly in his presence, or by talking to him in prayer. Doing so is good for us, and the people who spend time with us, the more we imitate Christ, the better examples we will be for others. The thought for the day, I am better able to imitate Christ when I spend time with him each day. And the focus is new mothers returning to work. The prayer is from Joy, from um, United Kingdom. Thank you, Jesus, for living out an example of how to glorify God. Help us to imitate you in all the things as we spend time with you and better learn your ways. Amen. Amen to that, guys. So let's be imitators of Christ. He's the best teacher, the best, you know, uh, leader. The best person some people want to imitate stars and singers, but they all have flaws. They all have flaws. The best person without a flaw, speck or wrinkle is our Lord and Savior. So the best one to imitate is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. His ways, his heart, the love, and just the image of his presence. When God see you, when people see you, they should see the God in you. On that note, have a great day, day, evening, afternoon, whatever it is in your region. Be blessed. Later, guys.